With cases of the flu, RSV, and also COVID-19 surging across the country right now, the CDC just released a new study actually showing that the new bivalent booster shots are 80% more effective in preventing hospitalizations versus the original formula. Let's break it all down with ABC's Ann Flaherty and also our medical contributor and emergency physician, Dr. Darian Sutton. So, Ann, you just caught up actually with the top official at the CDC on this new study. What can you tell us? So, Kira, we're looking at one of these first studies that are coming out, looking at the bivalent shot. This is the newly updated, the new formula that uh, public health officials are saying you should absolutely get ahead of this winter flu and COVID season. What the CDC lead researcher looking at the effectiveness of the shot told me just minutes ago was that they are seeing that, you know, it matters, that this is making a big impact on uh, people's ab ability to stay out of the hospital. Let's I think we have some sound on her. Let's take a look. As we head into the winter season, uh, to the winter travel season, we know that there are a lot of respiratory viruses circulating. There's really no time like the present to get vaccinated. Um, these studies show pretty unequivocally that the vaccines provide about 40 to 80 percent extra protection. So put another way, that could cut an individual's risk of hospitalization due to COVID-19 in about half. So, Kira, this is a, you know, it, that's a big number when you're looking at these hospitalization beds being in short number in the winter. Um, they really want to push that message out there to go ahead and get your shot. All right. And Dr. Sutton, uh, what were your top takeaway, top takeaways here? My top takeaways were, how do I apply this and discuss this with my patients? When you look at this data, it seems as though there is obviously an additive benefit of these bivalent boosters and protecting against hospitalization and death. But if you look closer, you can see that those who waited a little bit longer had a little bit more benefit. And I think that that's an important discussion to have because as we await the upcoming FDA meeting regarding our uh, new normal and deciding what we should expect in the future, one of those main questions is going to revolve around scheduling. And I think this data might translate to saying that maybe we should focus on the high risk getting vaccinated and updated as early as possible. And maybe those who are lower risk can wait a little bit longer to achieve that maximum amount of protection. So, Anne, the study also confirmed what scientists thought, and that's immunity effectiveness uh, decreasing over time. That means getting one of these boosters is more important than ever, right? I, that's exactly right. And when I talked to um, the doctor that was leading this research, she said, you know, look, six months is about that time where your immunity really starts to fall off. So particularly for people who, you know, they got their initial two shots, they said, look, I am fully vaccinated. That's the definition of fully vaccinated for the CDC is those initial two shots. But that doesn't mean that you're up to date on your shots. Your immunity does wane with time, and that can be a big problem headed into that winter season. And so, Dr. Sutton, as a, as a physician, how do you try and convince your patients who don't think they need to get this new one? Well, first off, I try to explain the context of what we're looking at in terms of effectiveness. A lot of people remember when we first had these vaccines come out, we saw those high levels of effectiveness coming out from the studies, 80, 90 percent. But it's important to understand that effectiveness is a measure of comparison to the level of immunity within the community. So when these vaccines first came out, there was very little immunity. Obviously, no one had been vaccinated. So the comparison is going to be very, very large. Uh, but today we're seeing this additive benefit. You won't see those high numbers, but that benefit is still crucial and important right now with this raging pandemic as this triple demic that we're having with the flu rsv and COVID, every percentage counts especially for those who are high risk so i try to advise them your goal is to reduce your risk of coming into the hospital and of course dying and the best way to do that is by getting vaccinated making sure that you're up to date on your vaccine and of course wearing a mask in high risk environments all right one more question guys the cdc still considering someone fully vaccinated if they've gotten their first two shots so and could that change given what we know about immunity and also these new boosters a, they want to move away from this idea of what's fully vaccinated what's what's not because it, you know it is sort of this complicated calculation here. And what they're saying is just stay up to date on your shots and be aware of the fact that, you know, if you had your shot last February, January, you're now vulnerable heading into this winter. Um, you know, it's not going to prevent you from getting infected. You might still get COVID. Uh, but it, the crucial point here is that it's going to keep you out of the hospital. And that's really what they want. And that benefit is higher for older people than it is for younger people. I guess I could throw in one more question, Dr. Sutton, because you're the doc here. Are you telling your patients to mask up again? 
Absolutely. I'm masking up myself. I use the amount of patients that I see during the day, to be honest with you, as my barometer. And right now, in here in California, I'm seeing a lot of patients coming in with respiratory illnesses, uh, flu, RSV, and COVID. And so that translates to me protecting myself more in the environment and the community. And I advise my patients to do the same. Uh, you just have to expect that when you're bumping into someone right now, they likely have been exposed or have active infection. All right. And Flaherty, Dr. Darian Sutton, guys, thank you so much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.